All right, just so you know, I do find what I'm looking for in this video, the ruins of the, I think it's the North Lebanon Iron Furnace. Because at the start of the video, I wasn't so sure, but I did find what I was looking for, so stay tuned. All right, we are at a place called uh, Coleman's Park here in uh, Lebanon County. This is just north of the city of Lebanon. Uh, we were at, this more, earlier today, we were at the Monroe Valley Chapel. I met some cool people there, cool church. Looks like they're uh, getting ready for some Christmas decorations out here. Probably have this set up for, you can probably drive through here in the evening. But I'm not here for Christmas decoration decorations today. Um, actually, I don't think I've ever been here at this park. But this is called Coleman's Park, like I said. It's named after uh, Robert Coleman. He was part of the uh, iron-making history here in Lebanon County. Owned a lot of iron furnaces in the area, Lebanon County and elsewhere. And uh, the property stayed in the family, <coughs> sorry, for some time. But then it was donated to the County of Lebanon. There used to be a lot of mansions here, but from what I read, they tore them all down. I don't, that doesn't really make any sense to me, I guess, but there are supposed to be some ruins here of like an old furnace somewhere, I think called the Northern Lebanon Furnace and like a little nature trail. I have no idea where the nature trail is right now. Um, and a lot of old trees, cool old trees and interesting things. So I'm just, I'm just going to explore and see what's here. So it looks like there's further up, looks like there's a lot going on, a lot of cars parked up there and stuff. Maybe some Christmas stuff going on up there. But uh, we'll see what happens. I've never been here. I couldn't find a map either that stated where the nature trail starts or anything. So, but we'll see what happens. Yes, I'm parked right up there, but I'm just gonna, I don't know. I'm just gonna go this way, I guess. Makes it I don't really know where I'm going here. It's not a huge park, but uh, we're just gonna go exploring. I saw some other people come down this way earlier, so maybe this is part of the nature trail. Well, I did find a trail. Those blaze marks are for a trail. <clears throat> Looks like it went off down that way too, but uh, <laughs> I gotta decide what I want to do. Like I said, I don't have a I don't have a map. I didn't see a map online either. I might just walk down here a little bit, see where this road goes. If not, I'll come back, take this trail. So that's kind of fun just to do this too, just to have no plan or ideas, just to come out here and explore. So there's a little highway behind us there. All right, I'll get back to you. I am on that little trail now, and they do have markers along the trail here. So probably somewhere is some information for each marker stating what was here. So, but I don't currently have that information, so we'll see. Like I said, it's my first time here, just kind of exploring around today. I'm not sure how much time we'll have. This big bunch, big huge storm system is coming. In a couple of hours or so, we may get rain. We may get rained out here, but we'll see. You see, I'm in an area now of these, like these shrubs. And I did read that uh, even though they tore the mansions down, there's still remnants of what would have been like you know, what they call the formal gardens. So maybe I'll hear some steps going up. I mean, there's a picnic area up there now, but maybe this is where one of the mansions was. These are part of the gardens. And you can see even down here some more steps. Covered in leaves. And there's something down right here. This looks interesting. Oh, it's just more steps. So, whoops. So yeah, there was probably a mansion sitting up there one time. You know, all these steps leading up through the gardens. 
I want to check out this one stump. This was a big tree right here. Well, decently sized tree. So, here's me kneeling down next to it. So, so there's some other big trees here. Even some like more unique species that are not native to Pennsylvania because they, because all the, the rich people that lived here, the mansions, they planted some different types of trees here. Let's keep exploring. Yeah, you can see some more of the decorations they have set up. Like, so there's probably going to be a, a drive through. You know, you can drive your car through here and see all the lights and stuff. I think this may have been one of the trees I read about. I think this is the European purple beech. It's one of the largest in the state as far as the species goes, the purple beech, the European purple beech. Neat looking tree, look at all the golden color down there. That's pretty neat. Yeah, actually, that's a ginkgo tree because I can recognize the leaves down here. Ginkgo, they're not native to Pennsylvania. Yeah, there's an older building back here. Of course, you can hear a generator running. There's quite a lot going on up there. A lot of cars and tents set up. But I'm not here for those things. I'm trying to find some of the other ruins, like the old iron furnace ruins. There's a lot here at this park. But one thing they lack is like a map showing you where everything is, historically. So I'm thinking most people come here for the recreation. But there's something down here that looks interesting, so we're gonna check it out. See straight ahead, there's some stones popping up. Let's see what this is. Won't tell until we get to the other side here. It's kind of a long stone wall. It's collapsed right there, but then it continues on that way. So I'm not entirely sure what this is. Yeah, I'm still at that wall, but I think this may be where the furnace was. Because I see there's a concrete pier right there. There's one back there. So I'm thinking this was the track that came in I'm guessing the furnace is right here because they would load the furnace from the top. So I'm guessing on the other side of that we'll see the opening to the furnace, maybe? I'm just guessing right now, but uh, definitely walk around and explore this a little bit more. Yeah, because there's another stacked stone structure here. So, yeah, there's the first pier I was talking about. That whole stone wall just goes on there too, so. We got plenty of stuff to check out in this area right now. About time. <laughs> I mean, it's nice to walk around the park, but I want to find some, I was eager to find some historical ruins and I was, for a little bit, I was getting concerned that we wouldn't find anything out here and that this uh, trip would be a little bit of a bust, but we found some stuff. All right, just gotta keep looking sometimes. So, in my, previous video I was at that Monroe Valley Chapel and I was talking with some people there and they said the same thing, you know. When you wanna, if you want to find stuff, you just got to keep looking sometimes. You got to go off trail and just keep looking. And not always, but lots of times you'll find what you're looking for. Yeah, like here's the one pillar. I don't know if you can see the other one in the brush and I can see a third one behind it. Like I said, they would probably carry the iron ore 
over to the furnace right there. We'll get over there in a moment, but I'm going to just, I'm just going to walk this way a little more, check out back there and maybe that wall a bit more. So, looks like there's a trail down here. Oh, yeah, this is that orange blaze trail again. Looks like it would have taken me right next to the furnace. Huh. I was on it earlier, but I kind of got off of it. Yeah, well. Yeah, there's that rock wall where we were. And up here, some more. Definitely some more ruins up here. These are made of brick. Interesting. Oh, you can go inside. Oh, crouch. Yeah, that's the one of the pillars that would take us back to where we were, that I was showing you. And it's looking back where we crawled through, but there's, it's full of these thick metal things that were cut off. So there's probably some structure on top of these. Yeah, down there's where we were. And there's still, I think there's a pile of bricks in there. Another stone wall going all along back there. There's still more stuff up here, so. Quite. There's actually quite an extensive amount of ruins here. You can probably hear Christmas music in the background yet. That's actually kind of weird. Usually when I'm at these ruins, it's just, it's just me in the woods, but there's Christmas music playing in the background. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. It is Christmas time. December 1st today is, yeah. Not quite Christmas, but that season. All right, let's keep exploring. Yeah, there's just a really long brick structure here. Brick on this side, brick over there. Actually, it looks like the park dumps all their leaf debris down onto these ruins. I'm not sure what I think about that. Because all it's doing is filling in the ruins. You can't really see them as much. Yeah, well. There's something over here, too. Oh, this probably went down at one time. There's like little, there's like little metal rungs over there. So this was probably deeper at one time. That's just kind of filled with leaves and trash. There's like a water pipe. So maybe this was like an old well at some time for some water or something. It looks like it was capped off with concrete at an earlier stage. Yeah, this stone wall just keeps going. And we were all the way back there. There was just that last thing we were looking at. So, eventually we're gonna go back there and look at what I think might be the furnace itself. I'm not really sure what the wall was for. It was just like a retaining wall or, I don't know. Well, actually that, that one has brick on the top of it too. So maybe there was a structure up top there as well. I'm just kind of guessing. I'm not necessarily the expert on this. Alright, well the trail continues enticingly along more, but I'm going to quick go back to at the start of those ruins and uh, check out what I'm thinking might be the actual furnace. You know, this kind of like a pyramid type thing with the opening in the middle where they would, they would dump the ore in and yeah, so. That's what I'm thinking it was, so 
I might come back this way then. Make kind of make a loop back to where my truck is. We'll see. Well, I, I didn't even make it back to the original ruins and I found uh, there's more stuff down here. I don't know if you can see it, so. Oh boy, there's a lot here. It's just cool. So, like I said, I did not know what I was gonna find when I come here. Anyway, I'm gonna go back that way. <laughs> Check out, see if that is a furnace, and then I gotta make my way back down to the bottom here and check out these other ruins. It's cool, there's a lot here. I'm back to where I originally started. There's piers <clears throat> and that original stone wall. And yeah, I don't think this was the location of the furnace. I think this is just a slag pile. Slag is the stuff that's left over from the iron making process. So, I'm thinking these piers are just what brought the carts that are carrying the waste maybe, and then they dumped them here. Cause it kind of goes along that way, like a dump pile. So, no furnace here. So the furnace is probably down that way then. Maybe down at the bottom where there's other things I saw. Or we'll check those out. Maybe those were the furnaces down that way. So that's where we're gonna go next. Try to go down where I saw those other things just earlier. Let's see what's down there. Well, I think I may have found a way down. Maybe. I think there's a little. I'll try to sneak down there. All right, so this whole area is terribly overgrown. We just skid down from up there somewhere. But uh, I can already see stuff over there. So I just got i got to make my way out of this jungle here yet. Yes, yeah, so now we're coming up on some of these more ruins. Well, there's a lot of brickwork here going all the way up. Oh wow, look at all that over there. So I'm thinking these might be where the actual furnaces were maybe? Down here, there's a whole lot of brickwork there. Kind of covered up with leaves and debris. Wow, so I'm down, we were up above, way up there. Cool. All kind of concrete buttresses over there. All right, here comes my little speech. <laughs> this is kind of bothering me now that there's all this stuff down here, but it's just all overgrown and unkept. I mean, it's kind of cool for exploring in a little way, but you know, I mean, they are in a county park here, but uh, why is this stuff not, you know, cleared and made available easier for the public to see you know I mean, there's a lot of cool history here to teach people here it's right near a bunch of different you know schools and towns and cities you know clear us out put some up some displays talk about the history of the you know, iron making it's part of the history here big part of the history here but just sitting here you know overgrown and hidden in all this mess so anyway that's my little speech there <laughs> We'll try to make our way over there now. This is a jungle down here. I think we can walk through where these pillars are. I'm guessing we back up a bit. I'm guessing, you know, here's like the original stone wall. These are probably added later, maybe to help support this or something. I think we'll be able to walk in through here. Cool. And try and get a picture of that. Here's a hole. It's just like a collapse. Oh, well, you know what? That looks very furnacey. Because <laughs> there's a lot of, this is like slag. This is leftover stuff. Kind of spilled down below here. So maybe these were the furnaces then. 
I'm guessing that's the truth. Huh. Not sure what that chunk of concrete is in there. Because it almost looks like a little chute here where stuff would come out. Because I think I can see daylight up there. I don't know. Wow. I don't remember seeing that hole up there, but wow. Cool. Whoops. <laughs> Tree. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, up there's another, up there's another opening. So. And these ruins down here just keep on going. On and on and on and on they go. Just kind of down here and forgotten. So. All right, I'm gonna keep following them. Let's see what else is down here yet. There's all kinds of neat little remnants along the wall here. Over in there's another little hole going in. Just all kinds of rock walls. So there's something sticking out of the wall there. It's kind of weird. There's a fire hydrant down here. Looks like they put a water line through this area. See some of the pipes. Huh. A fire hydrant. In the midst of all these ruins, that's kind of odd. And it just keeps going. Right over there was that fire hydrant, but... Yeah, they, looks like they repaired a little bit up there with brick. More of these. The holes, I don't know sure if those were for putting timbers in or what. A whole other section over here, right? like that, those concrete parts. Let's keep going. Okay, this is kind of cool. There's a set of old steps here. Going up to the top. Huh. I think the ruins pretty much end here. Looks like there might be something there yet. Oh, in a moment, I'm gonna head up these steps. Back up to where that trail was. All right, well, let's head up. It just looks like more rubble over there. there might be more stuff along that way but uh the rain is coming i'm starting to feel a few droplets already so i guess i'm heading back i got a date tonight too so with the wandering woods woman so i right, just hit up these steps hopefully they hold us Oh, there's some graffiti there. I was going to say, this place has very little graffiti, too, so it means it doesn't get a whole lot of attention, so that's good that way. All right, well, i got to find my way back up to the trail. All right, well, I'm back up on that Orange Blaze Trail and where those other ruins were beforehand, so I think I'm going to continue on down this trail just to see where it goes and then I'll loop around back to my truck so I'm not sure how much more I'll show depending on what there is so I'll continue on walking down this trail I'll see you I'll see you in a bit anyway then hey, here's a glimpse of one of the buildings that's left too I think this was a gatehouse 
for this area back when all the mansions were here, but it's got some neat architecture up there. All right, I think the truck is over there somewhere. All right, well, I found the truck. It's just up there. But we did find, did find the ruins. I wasn't sure, like I said, at the beginning of the video, what we're gonna find. Because one thing I said this place is lacking is like a map or maps. So they went to one of the, what they call one of the kiosks. There was just no map telling where stuff is. So maybe there is somewhere, but anyway, those ruins are pretty extensive, pretty cool. But like I said, they're just kind of, I don't know. It just seems kind of a shame that they're, because we're, I think this is, park is actually within the city limits of Lebanon, but you know, it's a great education opportunity on our history, but they're just kind of there, you know? Anyway, but if you do, come here looking for them for yourself if you know where the pool is there's like a big water park thing here somewhere to the left of that is where the ruins were down that hillside a little bit so so pretty cool so I'm glad we found them anyway I gotta get home and get myself cleaned up for tonight so thanks for watching and I'll see you around and as always you can find me on Facebook and you can also uh, support me on patreon I'll see you around